Hello sunshine. Today we're going to be working on the fairy godmother's next quest. We're going to take a break from my star path duties, so let's go find the fairy godmother. Uh -huh. My dear, you would have time for a little chat about the forgotten lands? Of course. Splendid. Now first I would like to know, do you think it's a place of woe? I love I love the mood of the place. <laughs> oh, you're like me, marvelous. But I do fear that sadly many villagers don't agree. I suspect it's the small blazes scattered about. What do you have in mind? Well now, I've spent some time pondering the problem, and I believe in this case two enchanters would be most helpful. And lucky for us, there's a second talented enchanter here. Shall we go consult Merlin, my dear? You've been so helpful. Of course, so let's go find Merlin. Oh, my dear old friend, how good it is to see you again. All this forgetting business means we haven't had our little tea time chats in for too, far too long. Alright, once you find Merlin, you're going to sit here and you're going to listen to them talk. And then when you get done, you're going to go on to the next step. After listening to them talk, Fairy Godmother is going to tell you what you need to do to... Enhance your watering can to put out those fires in the Forgotten Lands. Okay, so you have to create this icy, you know, enchantment um, for your watering can to put out the fires that's in the Forgotten Lands. If you have these ingredients in your storage rooms in your house, then you do not have to go and look for them. For instance, I have the tourmaline, the snowball, the dream shards, the purple impatience, and an empty vials all in my house. If you do not have these, you will have to gather these. You will need three of the gems, 15 snowballs, five dream shards, five purple impatience, and one empty vial. So let's make this enchant icing enchantment. All right, now once you make it, you must use it and place it on your watering can like this. So you're going to click it and then you're going to use it. And now when you do your watering can, it is going to allow you to douse the fires in the Forgotten Land. So let's go do that. Alright, let's douse some of these fires out. Well, and apparently, as you're dousing them, it gives you glass. Alright, so once you douse five of, them, five of them, you need to go and talk to the fairy godmother again. Congratulations, child. It worked. Mm -hmm. Perhaps now, no one will find the land quite so eerie, though it certainly is dark and dreary. Yep, walking there is a hazard now. Goodness, you're right. We wouldn't want someone to trip and fall while they're walking through the Forgotten Lands. But easy enough to fix, my dear. With some lights, paths, and seating, you'll see. Soon it'll be cozy as can be. Now, I'll just leave that to you. After all, you've done a marvelous job getting the rest of the village looking tip-top. Goodbye, dear. I'm off. Merle and I have years of missed tea time chats to catch up on. So Alright, so once you do that, you have to go and do some paths, some outdoor lighting, and some seating. So let's go kind of decorate around the fairy godmother's house. As you can see, I took the time to make some paths, um, some seating, um, and some lighting around the fairy godmother's house. Uh, you can do whatever you like, do whatever paths you like. I just wanted to make hers kind of whimsical and garden-like looking. Um, you can also use this time to go ahead and decorate all of your forgotten lands, but you do not have to. You just have to do those few little things. Um, I will be posting a video shortly on a speed build of my forgotten lands, so you can use it for inspiration. Once you get done doing the little bit of decorating that you're required to do for this quest for the Fairy Godmother, you will go back and speak with her. My dear, I've seen wonderful things you've done with the Forgotten mm -hmm. Lands. You're very talented, you know, and so creative. I'm sure the villagers will enjoy the Forgotten Lands as much as mm -hmm. I do now. The work isn't done, though. There's one last thing I must show you. Something the fire's threatened and that you help keep safe. 
Follow me. Now off you go. Bibbidi bobbidi boo. Now you must chase down the fairy godmother and figure out where she is going. Um, she takes off from you and you're going to follow her and she will eventually end up taking you back to the Forgotten Lands right there by her house where there is where it looks like a magical plant appeared once you unlocked her and brought her into the valley. Next to the plant that showed up. Ah. There, that is what I wanted to show you. It's, uh, well, let's call it a miracle in progress. After all, even miracles take a little time. Yes, you see, being a fairy godparent isn't always about magic. Sometimes you must do a bit of work without. And thanks to you, Blossom, we now have a way to protect this from the fires. But what is it supposed to be? Surely you must realize it's meant to be as a surprise. As a surprise. One thing I can tell true, this is a gift for you. Well, to Lou Blossom, you'll meet again soon. I'll see you soon, dear. Right, so that concludes the fire alarm quest for the fairy godmother. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and turn that bell on so that way you don't miss any more future videos.